episode of Minecraft Sky Factory 2.5. Today's episode, we are going to automate our cobble gen that we made over here. We'll also check out the little animal farm that I inadvertently made. Uh, first thing, let's go grab our achievement book. Get that, see if there's anything we have not crossed out yet. Some of this. I made the grass field 25 blocks away. So let's go check that out first. Uh, basically just dirt and grass seeds. Once this was, I believe, it was probably around 5x5, five five, animals started spawning. The regular Minecraft chickens, pig, and these fluid cows. I have to look into these a little bit more. Yep. They have different fluids. There's a steel, rocket fuel, bronze. The chocolate milk ones. I took a bucket and just right clicked on them and I did get milk from them. I didn't do it with the molten, with the irons and metals because I was unsure how I was going to undo the bucket itself. So. That'll be something that we get into later. Maybe automate. Crazy trees just growing. I made a new type of crook. As you can see, the compressed crook, all it is is uh, make four crooks. And then just put them in the crafting table in the same the same pattern as the normal crooks and then it'll combine into that gives you a lot more durability but for now we have our cobble gen here but sitting there just hitting stuff becomes incredibly monotonous so today we are going to automate that and to automate that, we are going to make a transfer node. I already got the stuff together for it. So we are going to make the one with iron. Just hold shift and the question mark. That gets us the transfer pipes we need. And we should have everything else on us. Voila. So now we have a transfer node and we have the uh, added benefit of still having some transfer pipes left over. Uh, I made a barrel to put stuff into, but I think what I'm going to do to start is just put a chest over there so I don't have to pull out just full stacks all the time. So let's go over here and do that after we sleep. So yeah, this <clears throat> transfer node, you just put it on the block and it's going to automatically just pull it. It doesn't you know, break it or anything. The nice thing is you will not lose any cobble. And look at that, if you put it right next to it, you don't even have to use another transfer pipe. And now, oops. transfer node. <laughs> you open it up. I believe you put the item in that you want to transfer in there. And then it'll search for it, find it. This is almost looking at like an inventory. And we should be getting cobble now. But we only got So let's see. Put it in there, no. It's just pulling it out. I haven't really messed with transfer nodes before, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take a quick pause, take a look at it a little bit, see if I can't figure out what's going on with it. 
All right, so I'll be right back. And now I'm back with the information. Apparently, they changed some of the mechanics with it, and you now need to place a world interaction upgrade into it. So let us make one of those. And that should get us pretty well set up. Okay, iron, lapis, and an iron pick. Let's make the iron pick real quick. Now, oh, nah, sometimes if it's a pick or other subcomponents, sometimes the ship doesn't work. Even if you have all the stuff, you gotta manually place everything in. But apparently, this should fix this right up. So just right click on the transfer node. Put it in there, and that did not work. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> so you put it in along here where the upgrades go. And now we are cranking on cow. What I'm thinking I might do, let's take this out real quick. Stop everything. I also moved it once because I thought maybe it needed the transfer pipe. But let's do this. Go and put that back. We'll put the chest right next to it. That connects it. Now I'll put a transfer pipe. Off too, so we can't accidentally fall down. Oh, you know what? That's not gonna work, I don't believe. Because I think you'd need another transfer node to pull back out of here. So we'll leave it where it's at and see. If it does it on its own, or if we're going to need our transfer node. If not, we can leave it filled up. We just double up the uh, just double up the chest. It's not like I'm going to need to go through you know, a double chest full of cobblestone at a time. Uh, this one would be interesting. Just how much durability this crook has. Not enough. Let's make another one real quick and I'll show you this a bit easier. Uh, sure. <clears throat> Basically just add them in. Another one, then I'll do the rest of do the rest of them off camera. Uh, let's put this in here. Let's see if we can't chop the whole tree down. Yeah, pretty much for the most part. This wasn't touching any other wood. We'll just let the rest of it go to uh, let it despawn on its own. Okay, so let's take a look at the book. Okay, we made dark room 25 blocks away. Made the grass. Uh, the second layer, yeah, that's gonna be a little uh, a little iffy. You know, dump water and try going down, but. 
I don't want to be off camera too. Uh, Tinker's Constructs, uh, Constructs Smeltery. That's going to be next episode, I believe. But we did automate the cobblestone generator. Uh, the mob farm. I'm going to build off camera. And then before I flip it on to start getting mobs, we'll go and see. I'm just going to do a drop one right over here, as we discussed before. And then I'll just go over you know, how many blocks I made it, etc., etc. But wow, we got a lot. This happens that time. So we'll fill all these up again. Let them run through another short episode. We have my daughter's birthday today. And I have food on the smoker. Let's make a smoker in here. So let's see. All right. Yeah. See, just in that little bit, you are definitely not going to have need to sit and nail it anymore. <clears throat> and... Not sure. I made the other one. Let's do this real quick. Let's take a stack. There's compressed cobble. I made a compressed wooden hammer, which you can use. To break down compressed cobble. So you don't have to make, you know, a stack of 64 cobblestone to break down. Uh, the one thing, vein miner doesn't seem to work with it. And when it does break it down, it breaks it down into basically nine pieces each. So that quick, we have 64 gravel. That we can compress again. And run through our heavy oak sieve. So while I'm doing that, we're going to cut the episode here, short one. Uh, next episode, we're going to get the smeltery going, be able to do some ore doubling with that. And that is all. So thanks for watching. Be good. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.